like the iconic scene in The Day After Tomorrow, where New York City faces an unprecedented climate disaster, reality now mirrors fiction as the Sahara Desert experiences a transformation that seems straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster. In a stunning turn of events that has left scientists scrambling for answers, the Sahara Desert, Earth's largest hot desert, has experienced its first major flooding in half a century. This September, an unprecedented deluge transformed vast stretches of golden dunes into shimmering lakes as more than a year's worth of rain fell in just 48 hours. From Morocco to Algeria, satellite images reveal an almost unrecognizable landscape with water pooling in areas that haven't seen significant rainfall in decades. The scale of this transformation is unprecedented in modern history, with water bodies appearing in places that have been bone dry for generations. As climate patterns continue to shift and become more extreme, this historic flooding in the Sahara Desert has scientists racing to understand what these dramatic changes could mean for our planet's future. The Perfect Storm When dark clouds gathered over the northwestern Sahara in September, few could have anticipated the extraordinary events that were about to unfold. This was no ordinary rainstorm, but an extratropical cyclone formed far over the Atlantic Ocean, which pushed deep into the desert, drawing moisture from equatorial Africa in a highly unusual pattern. The results were staggering. In just two days, some areas of the Sahara experienced nearly eight inches of rain, an amount far exceeding the region's usual yearly totals. The town of Erechidia, located in southeastern Morocco, recorded almost three inches of rainfall during this period, a quantity four times its typical rainfall for the entire month of September. This weather system, identified by meteorologists as a rare extratropical storm, brought a level of rainfall and flooding never before seen in this arid desert, leading many to call it the perfect storm. What set this event apart from typical weather patterns was the unique development of the storm itself. The low-pressure system that formed over the Atlantic Ocean extended unusually far south, creating an atmospheric river that pulled a tropical moisture from equatorial Africa directly into the heart of the Sahara. This flow of moisture, combined with the desert's distinct geography, especially the towering Atlas Mountains, contributed to the storm's intensity. The mountains helped lift the moisture-laden air, intensifying the precipitation as the system moved deeper into the desert. The combination of atmospheric conditions, wind patterns, and the perfect alignment of temperature factors resulted in an extraordinary storm whose ferocity left meteorologists and local inhabitants astounded. The rainfall unleashed by this system was far beyond what the region had ever experienced, turning one of the world's driest deserts into a temporary floodplain. The sheer scale and unexpected nature of this event have raised new questions about the forces at play in global weather patterns and how they can interact in unpredictable ways, even in regions as traditionally dry as the Sahara. Scientific Significance of the Event The September deluge in the Sahara has left the meteorological community with much to ponder. The timing and intensity of the rainfall have challenged existing models that have long held the late summer months as a period of minimal precipitation for this region. In some areas, rain gauges recorded more precipitation in a 24-hour span than they had in the past five years combined. This extreme event has provided a wealth of data, allowing scientists to gain deeper insight into how atmospheric dynamics are shifting in response to global climate change. Meteorologists are now re-examining the conditions that allowed for such an event. The intense rainfall, which vastly exceeded previous records, hints at a larger trend of atmospheric instability linked to a warming climate. Early data from weather stations suggests that these events may become more frequent, forcing scientists to rethink the traditional understanding of the Sahara's climate. What was once considered one of the driest and most predictable regions on Earth may now be subject to the same extreme weather patterns seen in other parts of the globe. Lakes and Rivers in the Desert Perhaps the most striking impact of the flooding has been the dramatic transformation of the landscape. The desert town of Merzuga, known for its towering sand dunes, now features lakes where there were once only expanses of sand. The water, reflecting palm trees and casting surreal images, has temporarily altered the face of the desert. Most notably, Lake Iriqui, a dry lake bed in Morocco's largest national park, has been revived after being dry for over 50 years. 
NASA satellite imagery has revealed large patches of water across the typically barren desert landscape, showcasing the scale of the transformation. This sudden presence of water has opened new avenues of research for scientists, particularly geologists and hydrologists. The emergence of these lakes provides an opportunity to study how water behaves in arid environments, a phenomenon that could offer clues about the region's wetter past. Thousands of years ago, the Sahara was home to large bodies of water and thriving ecosystems. The recent flooding has given researchers a chance to explore how similar conditions might reshape the desert once again, even if only temporarily. Ecological Responses The presence of water in one of the driest regions of the world has not only reshaped the physical landscape, but has also led to an unexpected revival of plant and animal life. Seeds that have lain dormant for years have begun to germinate, bringing patches of greenery to the desert. This burst of life is a rare sight in the Sahara, where vegetation is sparse and typically adapted to long periods of drought. The sudden arrival of water has led to the appearance of plants that haven't been seen in decades, and with them a rise in wildlife activity. Bird migration patterns have also been affected, as species that normally bypass the Sahara have made unexpected stops at the newly formed lakes. Water birds, in particular, have been spotted in areas where they are rarely seen. Meanwhile, microbiologists have found that dormant microorganisms in the desert soil have come to life with the introduction of water. These tiny organisms play a critical role in nutrient cycling and could have a lasting effect on the desert's ecology. The revival of life in the Sahara spurred by this rare event has offered scientists a glimpse into the resilience and adaptability of desert ecosystems. Human Impact and Adaptation while the flooding has created new opportunities for ecological study, it has also brought devastation to some regions. Morocco has been particularly hard hit, with over 18 lives lost and extensive damage to infrastructure. Roads have been washed away, electricity supplies disrupted, and access to drinking water cut off in several villages. Some of these areas are still recovering from last year's earthquake, and the flooding has only added to the challenges faced by local communities. For the people living in these regions, the flooding presents both challenges and opportunities. Traditional desert agriculture has been disrupted by the sudden deluge, but some farmers are exploring how the temporary abundance of water might be harnessed to improve their crops. In an environment where drought is usually the primary concern, the appearance of water has sparked a re-evaluation of agricultural practices. However, the flooding has also exposed the vulnerabilities in desert infrastructure, raising questions about how these regions can better prepare for extreme weather events in the future. Climate change and future implications. The unprecedented nature of this flooding has fueled discussions about the long-term effects of climate change on desert regions. According to Celeste Saulo, Secretary General of the World Meteorological Organization, this event is part of a broader trend of increasingly unpredictable weather patterns. As global temperatures rise, the atmosphere is able to hold more moisture, which can lead to more intense precipitation events. The Sahara, a region not typically associated with flooding, has experienced over 38,000 heavy precipitation events in the last two decades, with about 30% occurring during the summer months. The involvement of an extratropical cyclone in this recent event suggests that the Sahara may face more extreme weather in the future. Climate models predict that as global temperatures rise, the likelihood of similar storms forming will increase. This potential shift in weather patterns could have profound implications for desert ecosystems and the human communities that inhabit them. Long-term projections indicate that the Sahara may experience more frequent and intense weather events, prompting the need for better planning and adaptation strategies in desert regions worldwide. Historical Context and Lessons for the Future while this flooding event has drawn global attention, it is not without historical precedent. The Sahara was once a much wetter region, known as the Green Sahara, where grasslands and lakes supported human settlements around 11,000 years ago. This dramatic shift in the landscape offers a glimpse into the region's past and how quickly it can transform under the right conditions. Researchers are now looking to historical records and geological evidence to understand how the Sahara might continue to change in response to modern climate forces. The data gathered from this flooding will be crucial for improving climate models and understanding the future of desert ecosystems. Scientists are particularly interested in whether this event signals larger climatic shifts or if it is an anomaly in an otherwise arid region. 
The possibility that the Sahara could experience more frequent extreme weather events has prompted discussions on how to better prepare for such changes. For the communities living in these harsh environments, the ability to adapt to both droughts and floods will be critical in the coming decades. Could these extreme weather patterns become the new normal for the Sahara Desert, and how will it impact the lives of those who call it home? Now it's time to hear from you. Have you witnessed any dramatic weather events like the flooding in the Sahara? Share your experiences below, and let's see how these changes are affecting different regions around the world.